This is the beginning of our holiday to Mexico. We are staying at the Grand Bahia Principe in Acamel. We are at Stansted Airport and we're just about to board the plane. We're all very excited. We are just now looking for our seats. On the back of the chairs, as you can see, we have our own little screens. Um, the, what is showing us now is the flight path from London Stansted to Cancun, Mexico. It's a 10 hour flight, so let's get settled down. And we have takeoff from a cold, damp England. Looking forward to the heat of Mexico. We're flying high above the clouds. Look at that sun. Here we are, we're just arriving in Cancun. I bet it's going to be so warm and we can't wait to feel that lovely heat on our faces, different from England. We've landed and now we're going to get our suitcases. So excited, can't wait till we get there. Look, that's the plane we've just got off. Here we are at the Gran Bahia Principe Acamel in Mexico, 28th of November 2016. Um, this little bus here on the right hand side you can see in the picture um, is they you can catch them and that takes you around the complex. So if you don't want to walk anyway, you can just catch one of those. Um, now I'm going to take you up the steps. This is the entrance to the lobby bar. Um, as you can see there, there's quite a few people ready with their cases to go home. Actually there's not many people there but there's lots of cases there as you can see. Here's another little trolley waiting to pick people up. <coughs> there we go, look at that grand entrance, how lovely is that? Nice and shiny floor. And there to the right is the reception. Way when you come in here you check in of oh, the check-in desk I should say rather than reception check-in desk over there any inquiries you can, um, they are very helpful and this takes you through to where the it's a bar telephones down the right hand side there's a bar down here which I'm going to take you to Little 
arm inside there. And then I'm now going to take you back into the main theatre area where I do shows every evening. There's the stage on the right hand side. And now on the left hand side, um, well over there to the right hand side I should say there's a bar. To the left here is the programmes for the entertainment. So it's got the weekly plan there. Carry on back into the lobby. That lovely statue there in the middle. Beautiful water fountain. Straight on down there in front of us is some shops on the left hand side. That's where you can. Um, get trips from. On the left hand side here is very important, that's where the toilets are. And on the left hand side here is a little shop. And this is taking me down to the, um, to the buffet. <coughs> and along here is where you can book trips again. But first choice or Thompson, sorry, on the right hand side there because we're playing with Thompson and you can go in here or you can go into the door as well there's two ways into this buffet <coughs> now this is where we can get all the food it's based itself um, you can get it yourself <laughs> the cakes on the right hand side here beautiful cakes and on the left hand side is where you get the main meals from small desserts I believe yes you can smoke from that from here and you can get fresh omelettes here they make them to however you like them and just down the right hand side is where the Mexican food is so if you like Mexican Mexican food you're in Mexico so give it a try and you've got the healthy um, eating bar just there Right, I'm going back out of that area into the other part of the restaurant, sorry, the buffet here. So it's really big, so you'll have nowhere, um, nowhere, you have plenty of places to sit. On the right hand side there, there is a bar. Oops, oh dear, I think I'm in trouble. I've got my swimming costume on and haven't put a t-shirt on over the top, but that is the rules and I forgot because I was recording this. But you have to put a t-shirt on and obviously you can't have wet wet clothes because the seats are padded and do not wet bums on the padded seats. So anyway, I'll carry on along here where I've just been and then I'll take you outside now to where the pools are. This is the way outside. Look at that lovely bright sun out there. And it is November. 
so it's not quite their high season. As you can see, there's not many people around, but the um, complex is basically full. Anyway, there's the map, so you can have a look at the map and hopefully you won't get lost. But they do give you a map when you first get here, so then you've, you know you can sort of look at that and look where you're going. <laughs> Um, anyway, straight in front of you, that's where I've just taken you into the theatre and the bar inside there. <coughs> straight in front of you to the right, at the bottom there, around, just slightly around the corner, is a swimmer bar. You can probably just make out some people there. Can't see very well. I'm over here, I need the glasses. <laughs> And there's the rules of the swimming pool there. So there's no diving because the pools aren't very deep. Um, I can't remember exactly what they are, but I'm five for eight and they come up to my, I don't know how big they are, what they come up to. Just under my, just over my waist, so a little bit more, I suppose. So not massively deep. Okay. The pool is big here. There's actually, it's sort of like a river shaped um, serpentines really I suppose and it's actually two of her separated by bridges so this bridge here you can go under but the other bridge over the other side you can't you have to get out to get over to the other side that makes sense I'm now going to make my way down to the beach. This is one way you can go, and it's such a big beach anyway, so there's a shower. So when you come off the sand, you need to really shower yourself, otherwise you get the sand all over your feet, and then it will go in the pools. As you can see the water looks so calm and the reason for this is they've placed boulders out at sea um, so it breaks up the waves so it feels like a lagoon um, it's really really safe for children here as well and there's lots of fish around as well and they swim all around you and you can feed them with lots of bread and the little bits you get from the buffets so don't tell the, the hotel that you're taking it out to feed the fish because all the children will love them. There's so many different sorts. 